Hi, I'm Bethany and I'll be showing you how to make Dr. George's Dental White Bowl and Bite Trays. We are here today to demonstrate how to fit the trays for Dr. George's Dental White. After the water is boiling, remove the pot from the stove top. You can also use a coffee cup in a microwave oven. When the boiling stops completely, grasp the very top of the tray tab and put the tray down into the water for exactly six seconds. Do not submerge the tab in the water and be sure to keep your fingers out of the water at all times. Time six seconds carefully. Lift the tray straight up out of the water so that the hot water runs off and out of the tray. Be careful to keep the edges of the upper rim of the tray from touching each other and welding together. Look into the mirror to see that the tab is in front and centered. Firmly, press your fingers and tighten your lips against the front of the tray. Again firmly, press your thumb and tongue against the inside of the tray. Do not press the tab against the front of the tray. Continue to press your lips and tongue against the tray and suck out all the air and water. Bite firmly. Keep the tray in position for 30 seconds. Allow time for it to set or place the tray under cool running water. Now you'll want to inspect the tray. Look to see that your teeth indentations are within the tray and that they are clearly visible, particularly on the back teeth. Once satisfied with the general fit of the tray, cut the tab from the tray with scissors or fingernail clippers. Make the cut as flush as possible with the front surface of the tray. To get a professional fit in the front of the tray, again bring the water to a boil, then remove the pot from the heat source, hold the tray by its ends, and submerge the front of the tray for exactly seven seconds seven seconds this time. Pour out the hot water and place the tray back into your mouth. Bite together firmly, press, rub, and smooth away the two protrusions left from the snip, and snugly adapt the front teeth to the tray. Continue to press your lips and tongue against the tray and suck out all the air and water from it. Keep the tray in position for 30 seconds. Give it enough time to set. Now you can see good impressions of the teeth in the front of the tray and you can see the good indentations all the way around. We advise you to wear one tray at a time in order to monitor your progress. You can wear both upper and lower trays at the same time, but you must first fabricate the lower tray against the upper tray instead of your upper teeth. To do so, Use a thin coat of Vaseline over the outer biting surface of the upper tray to prevent the lower tray from welding to it. As you see here, just smear a thin coat. Place the upper tray into your mouth and repeat the process you did for the upper tray. After the boiling stops, Remove the pot from the stove top, grasp the very top of the tray tab, and put the tray down into the water for exactly six seconds. Do not submerge the tab in the water and keep your fingers out of the water. Time six seconds carefully. Place the tray into your mouth. Firmly press your fingers and tighten your lips against the front of the tray. Firmly press your thumb and tongue against the inside of the tray. Do not press the tab against the front of the tray. Continue to press your lips and tongue against the tray and suck out all the air and water. Bite firmly. Keep the tray in position for 30 seconds. As you can see here, the tray separated clearly from each other. Again use the scissors and cut the tab from the tray. Now, to get that professional fit in the front of the tray, bring the water to a boil, then remove the pot from the heat source, hold the tray by its ends, and submerge the front of the tray for exactly seven seconds. Pour out the hot water and place the tray back into your mouth. Bite together firmly, press, rub, and smooth away the two protrusions left from the snips, and snugly adapt the front tray to the teeth. Continue to press your lips and tongue against the tray and suck out all the air and water from it. Keep the tray in position for 30 seconds. Now inspect the tray. As you can see, 
A portion of the lower right side of the tray is a little bit long, so she's going to take and remove that place with the scissors. Now she's going to place just that portion back into the hot water. You want to heat it for 7 seconds to make it nice and pliable. She already has her upper tray in her mouth. Now she puts in her lower tray and smooths and adapts that area. That's it. You now have nice professionally custom fitted trays. Once your new smile is achieved, you can maintain those pearly whites by mixing dental white with the toothpaste of your choice in a 50-50 mixture and brushing normally.